Um, just uh, tell us a little bit more about what she had to say. Yeah, I mean, I think Paul Rosie, this, this seems really transparent that she's utilizing American media. She's utilizing this podcast to respond kind of vaguely to accusations that both Tom Bauer and Valentine Lowe have made against her in their recent books. She wants you to know that she's not a bully. She's just an assertive woman. And, um, it's, it's like Rosie said, you're going to have to make, you know, come to your own conclusion on whether or not that's the truth. Uh, but she's clearly utilizing this podcast cast as a vehicle to respond to some of those accusations in a way that's not as blatant as a sit down Oprah interview. Um, but she's, you know, trying to paint a picture of who she wants the world to see her as through this podcast. Um, and, you know, she also said that she's 43% Nigerian. So that was, uh, you know, news to us. Uh, and, you know, utilizing some of these bigger stars and, and celebrities to um, elevate herself. To some people will say, you know, amplify her, her voice further. The strategy she's trying to use to sort of reset the narrative and define herself, who she wants to be seen as, is that working in the States? Are, are people sort of favourable towards her? <laughs> Rosie, not really. I mean, I, I have to be honest with you. If you look at the numbers, her podcast, that very first episode, it was, it blew up. I think people were very curious, but lately Kim Kardashian's beating her on the Spotify charts. There's a less and less interest in her. And I think that uh, they've, American media has noticed this redirection in the narrative. And it's, you know, I think we're, pleasantly surprised that she's complaining less, but it's also coming off as insincere because it's such a 180. And just quickly, Prince Harry as well, or sorry, Harry, has been offering some business advice. Just tell us what that is and, and why he thinks he's got the credibility to give it. Yeah, so he, it, it, this is a Better Up Summit in San Francisco, talking to CEOs, telling them that they should work on themselves, work on their personal growth, but also encourage the people beneath them to nurture their own personal growth. And um, I really do think that this is actually the direction we're going to see his book when that inevitably comes out. I think he's setting himself up to be that thought leader, that, you know, that guy that gets paid a lot of money to do these kind of conferences. 